Rapid Media presents Rapid Media TV. Scott McGregor here with Kayak Angler Magazine Television, and I'm here at ICAST with David Haddon in the new Old Town booth here, and we yeah. got a couple boats. And I know we've seen these here at um, at Kayak Angler because you guys sent us one ahead, and we had to keep it hidden and oh, all yeah. this. But yeah, that was the 13. For- and but I haven't seen the MX. Tell me a little bit about maybe. Well, tell me about it first of all, but what the differences might be. Okay, so the 13 that you got is set more up for, for flat water paddling, for paddling on uh, small lakes, um, um, estuaries, um, in the open water, in ocean. What we wanted to do with the MX was make a, a mixed water boat, so it's for moving water as well as all of those. Fish and rivers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we've been using it up in, in Maine for fishing a lot of the smallmouth streams. Um, we made the, uh, it still has the same tri hull design. So a nice blend of stability and performance, um, but it also has a little bluntness on the bow. So if you're paddling down a river, you hit a rock, it's going to bounce off and deflect off the rock as, a, as opposed to piton. What else is on this boat then? Or what's yeah. common between the two, let's say? Well, common between the two is the tri is the tri-hole design, as I mentioned, um, and then just starting in the bow. So we took away all of the um, old style kind of toggle grips and we put it in a molded in handle. I mean, there's nothing worse than getting a fly or a lure caught on the on your toggles. So both in the bow and the stern, your, your handles are, are molded into the boats. Then you also have um, tip protectors. So, um, for someone who just wants to set a rod down, if you don't want to have it in the rod holder, you just simply put it in this area right here, and you can attach your rod right in a, a scenario like this. So now your rod tips are down, they're protected, they're not gonna uh, get caught or broken on a tree, and it doesn't go into a rod tube or something, again, where you might, might break the end, a tip of rod as well. Great, and big, huge, flat fishing surface I can see here. Yeah, big, huge, flat fishing surface. So on the 13 that we sent you, it has the Mod Pod in the center. This area is all clean and clear. A lot of fly fishermen are going to like this more because um, if they're stripping a fly line down, it's not going to catch or grab on anything. Um, you notice the, the sides on both of the boats are a little bit higher than some of the sit on top, so it's going to keep you a little bit drier. So for guys fishing in northern areas where the water's a little bit cooler, it's going to keep them a little bit drier, a little bit warmer for a day on the water. Tell me about these fancy scupper plugs. Yeah, well the scuppers that we use are a patented one-way scupper. So if you get any water in the boat, it will drain out, but water won't come in through the scupper plugs. And there's um, eight or nine of these, depending on whether it's the Predator or the Predator MX. And uh, it's just a real neat little piece. So it's going to keep you, again, drier on the water. And again, for guys in northern areas that are using it in colder waters, it's a great piece to have. And you got a three position seat you were showing me earlier, a low position. And then you can snap up to what's currently in the high position. And then it, show me how it gets out of the way completely. Yeah, so uh, let me just put this away. So if you want to, um, now you want to stand up fish, right? So right now it's currently in the high position. But if you want to stand up and fish, now you flip it all the way back into this position here, and now you have all this standing room. So it's nice and easy. It's just like an SUP. And again, if you're a fly fisherman, it gives you all that area to strip your fly line. And again, the fly line's not going to grab or catch on anything in the center of the boat. You want to put it back down into a position. So now you're getting ready to paddle. You put it in the lowest position, and this lowest seated position is going to be the most stable position. So if you're out and the wind's kicked up, it's a little rougher, or you're paddling it on the river, you're going through a class two or three rapid, you can drop the seat all the way down. Great. So I know the 13's available now, that's right. Yep, yes. they're shipping now. What about, what about the MX? This boat will ship in another month. So right around August 1st, it will be available at retailers. Great. All right, well, thank you very much, David. Right. Thanks, man. Good seeing you. Scott McGarry here in the Old Town booth for Kayak Angler Magazine, helping you paddle forever. more about Rapid Media's print and digital magazines, International Paddling Film Festival, on-water events, and online store. Visit rapidmedia.com.